everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about Dreamlight Fruit. And if you have any hopes of completing all of the potato quests, you must do this quest first. Right up front, I want you to know that you must be at level 7 with Simba to get this quest. It's called the Seed of Memories. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is make sure you have Simba following you because that makes it so much easier when you do that. And then we're going to go in here to the Vitelli's Mines. We are going to unlock a hidden room. So that's where we're headed right now. And I totally forgot about this room. All right, good. Simba's still following us. I didn't see him, so I got a little worried. But we're going to keep walking back on this side. So when you walk into the Vitelli's Mines, you're going to go to the right. And then right here, you're going to find the secret room. All you got to do is walk up to it, and you'll see your quest has updated to interact with the strange rocks. So we're just going to interact with that. And now we're in the secret room. This room is so neat. So now we have to look at the drawing on the wall and the table full of tubes and beakers. So let's look around here. We'll just walk up to the drawing. Isn't it pretty? I love this wall. And it tells you it looks like a notice of some sort. Maybe somebody can help you make sense of it all. I'm guessing it's going to be Merlin. What do you think? And then we're just going to go over and look at the table full of tubes and beakers, which is over here on the far side. And once we do that, our quest is going to update. And it says a complicated tangle of tubes and beakers takes up most of the table. You notice there is still some room in two places to add something else. You're not sure what. And obviously your quest has just changed to go talk to Merlin about what you saw. So let's head down there. Fortunately, it wasn't difficult to find Merlin. He was at his house, so I didn't have to chase him. And if you have other quests open with Merlin, you want to pick the Seed of Memories. And then he'll go into all this dialogue about the Dreamlight Tree and how the Dreamlight Seed is in a slumber and you have to get it to awaken somehow. We need two potions to wake it up. One is the Potion of Growth, which takes blueberries and dream shards. One is the Potion of Dust, which takes orange milkweed and night shards. And of course you need an empty vial for both. And just a side note, you do not need to have these items on you. They just have to be in your inventory. Let's go ahead over to our crafting table and let's craft these two potions and then take them back up to the herbalist room or the hidden room and see what we get. All right, here we are. I'm ready to make my potions. I have all of my ingredients. Basically, if you don't have the ingredients yet, the blueberries are found in the Forest of Valor unless you've moved those little bushes. Dream shards and night shards can be found just about anywhere, mainly digging for me. That's how I get them. And the orange milkweed for the potion of dust, you get that down in the Glade of Trust. And the empty vials, you can buy them from Kristoff's stall or you can just craft them. It's up to you. Our potions are ready. Let's head back up to the herbalist room. And here we are. All we have to do is walk up to the table, interact, and place our potions. And once we've placed our potions, we will get a Dreamlight Seed. And then we will pick that seed up. And we will go give it to Simba. And then Simba gives us a little story about... Of course, there's always a story, guys. You know that. Simba will give us a little story about all of the Dreamlight Seeds and how we had trees and all that good stuff and that it was his role to watch over it and obviously you know Simba did a good job right right up until the forgetting you know he did I love Simba and then we're just gonna go ahead and follow him over to the Sunlit Plateau and from what I can tell there's really no right or wrong place to put the seed as long as you bury it pretty much between that walkway up to the Forgotten Lands and that little pond you should be good because the tree is gonna grow where it wants to so wherever you plant it, it's going to grow probably closer to the Forgotten Lands. But it's fine. It's fine wherever it goes, if, as long as it's between there. So we're going to go ahead and plant this. And then I am going to speed this up because I think it takes a few days for this thing to grow. And I am not willing to wait. So we're going to go ahead and dig our hole. We're going to plant our seeds. And then we're going to go make our Miracle Growth Elixir. And we're going to put it on our watering can. So we can finally get a Dreamlight Tree in our valley. Because I have been dying to get this. I've just been waiting to do the video first. All we got to do now is use that Miracle Elixir on our watering can. We're just going to quick water that. And you'll see here it just grows right into a tree immediately. And now we have our Dreamlight Fruit. And of course we have to go through you know, the whole dialogue with Simba and Scar. But we are not going to go through that here because I not only wanted to show you how to get your first Dreamlight Tree. I want to show you how to get the last three. You get a total of four. We're going to go through that right now. This is your bonus content. Our bonus content starts and ends with the level 10 quest with Simba. And now he wants to take a closer look at the Dreamlight Fruit. 
I want to warn you about this quest. You're going to want to have four Dreamlight fruit on you. Just remember, you only have one tree at this point, and it only gives you three Dreamlight fruit every 24 hours. It's a long time to wait, so I want to give you a heads up if you have not done this quest yet. Make sure you have four on you. And once you have all four of these little Dreamlight fruits on you, we can now start the Dreamlight Grove quest. And this is your final quest for Simba. Let's get this started. We're going to just do a quick little walkthrough. And right off the bat, we're going to give one of our Dreamlight fruit right to Simba. And once we do that, we want to make sure we still have three left, okay? You need three left. I didn't do that, and I ended up having to wait 24 hours to finish this. So that's why I'm stressing that so much for you guys. And in this mini quest that we're going to do next, we have to go talk to Mother Gothel. So let's just jump right on over to her. She's going to tell us a few things that we need to do. She's going to give us, a, well, really, she's just going to give us a book. And it's Experiments on the Dreamlight Tree, Volume 42. They actually gave it a volume. And we're going to have to read that in order to learn how to make the fertilizer. Because that is what we got to do now so we can actually fertilize our fruit after we plant them. And to make the Dreamlight Tree fertilizer, we will need an empty vial. We'll need the fruit, of course, the Dreamlight fruit, Vitaly's crystals, purified night shards, and sunlit plateau water. And I already have all the ingredients, so I'm just going to take you up to the sunlit plateau <laughs> and show you how to get that water. And once we're up here in the sunlit plateau, you're just going to look for the sparkly things in the water. And all you're going to do is interact with it, and you will get your vial of water. All we need now are purified night shards, and that is it. And we have to make those, so let's get that going. And in order to make the purified night shard, you just need night shard and dream shard. I have a lot of each, just because I've been collecting for so long. And once we have that, now we can make our dream light tree fertilizer. And then we're going to put it on our watering can and see what we get. So we're going to need Vitaly's crystals, five of them. You need the sunlit plateau water, which we already have. Three dream light fruit, actually. I have five now because I did wait till the next day to do this. Purified night shards, two, and an empty vial, one. All of this stuff can just be in your inventory. They do not have to be on you. And there we have it. We've got our dream light tree fertilizer. Now we just have to arm ourselves with our watering can and use our new fertilizer on it. And once we have our fertilizer on our new water, or not new watering can, but the new fertilizer on our watering can, we're just going to go ahead and talk to Simba real quick. And he's going to give us our next task, which is to water five flowers in three different biomes. So we're going to go to Frosted Heights, we've got to go to the Forgotten Lands, and the Glade of Trust, and just water flowers. Let's go do that real quick. So we're in the Frosted Heights, and I've got all these flowers right here. Hey, and remember when these flowers didn't didn't work? <laughs> I, really, I really thought they were all red. I was apparently really wrong. But we're just going to water five of these, and yes, your watering can still waters more than one, just like it would if you were gardening. And I've already done the Forgotten Lands and the Glade of Trust. I just wanted to show you how to water them real quick. I know it was a real simple task, but I wanted to show you anyway. So we're going to talk to Simba real quick, and we are going to follow him over to the plateau. And once we're at the plateau with Simba, he's going to go through a whole bunch of little dialogue about the new trees growing all over the valley. And pretty much this is it. We are done with the level 10 quest. It is pretty cool. I, I absolutely adore these trees. Let's go check them all out. He's going to go talk to Nala and we're supposed to listen to him. But we're not going to do that here. You can do that on your own. So let's go see these new trees and I'll show you what we can do with them. Now I'm only going to use the one in the Glade of Trust to show you what we're going to do with these. They are growing in each of the other biomes that we planted them in or that we watered flowers in in the Forgotten Lands and the Frosted Heights. But we are going to move them all down here to the Glade of Trust because I want them all in one place and I have a lot of room down here. And I just think they're so pretty. So all we have to do is go into our furniture mode and pick them up and move them just like we would any other furniture or item that we're putting down in our valley. And here's our completed tree move, if you want to call it that. I just think they're so pretty. And I would have moved the fourth one down here, but I like just having the three and they did fit on the camera perfectly well almost perfectly and I knew a fourth one wouldn't so I kind of left the other one up in the plateau because I do like that there I'm going to find a good place for it but I put the other three down here these will be the three I'll pick from when I need some and we do have great new recipes that came along with this I'm not going to go over those here but I will put them down in the description for you so in case you wanted to make any of those I'll tell you what you need to make each one how much stamina you get and how much they are to sell okay well if you guys found this video helpful please give it a like and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate all of you who have already subscribed. Thank you so much. I guess I'll see you guys all next time. Have a great one. Bye.